Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve or fix the volume shadow copy service error code 0x8100022 or the accompanying error that has a difference of 203 on the end instead of 202. So if you're coming across this error message and typically it's associated when you're attempting to run a system restore and it comes across a volume shadow copy service component encounter an unexpected error check the application event log for more information so if you're coming across this problem let's go ahead and check out the services then so open up the star menu type in services go ahead and open that up should be the best match listed here so go ahead and just left click on that you want to locate the volume shadow copy service so scroll down near the bottom and double click on it. You want to set startup type to manual and if service status is stopped you want to go ahead and select start. Select the recovery tab here and make sure your settings are exactly how they appear on my end here so take no action for the first three and then reset fail count after zero days. Make sure to enable actions for stop and errors are not check marked here. So again just make sure it appears how you see it on my screen. If you're still having a problem select apply and okay. And if you're still having a problem after you've restarted your computer, another thing you can try here would be to run a couple of system scans, so the system file checker and the DISM command, so which stands for Deployment Image Servicing and Management. So I'm just going to have them in the description of the video, just copy one one at a time here. In order to run these commands, we're going to go open up the start menu, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Like I said, there's going to be two commands in the description of the video. The first one's going to be the system file checker utility. So just copy that from the description of my video and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt here. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. This will take a couple minutes to scan, so please be patient, and then we'll move on to the second command. Okay, so once that one is done, we're going to run one more scan here. I'm going to have that in the description of the video. It's going to be a DISM command, so just copy that. 
Go to the top bar of the command prompt here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Let it run here, it will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so it says that the operation completed successfully. Would it suggest restarting your computer at this point? So just go ahead and close it here. And let's restart our device. Okay, so there you guys, once your system has restarted, you should be good to go. And that should hopefully be about it. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.